you cannot do business with God when you are still in doubt of the reality of his person not his power that he exists I'm showing you the, the way God guides people the Holy Spirit the journey of faith encapsulates everything the systems that the Holy Spirit brings you into so that you can have encounters and conviction you don't become no great man is in doubt of what his his persuasions that is something you must settle before you get to certain dimensions because the challenges that are before you will require strong conviction about the person of god are we together the bible says whosoever comes to god must believe that he is you will think it's a simple statement until challenges stand before you and you will find out that for the first time you are joining the mindset of an atheist to doubt is god really alive there is there is there are certain giants that you face on the mountain brothers and sisters if you have not settled the reality of god you will doubt ask john the baptist you will think just because john the baptist ordained jesus the reality of his godhead the reality of his person had been furnished in john when john was frustrated to a point where his human weakness was at his prime john sent somebody he said go and ask him are you the messiah how about john you ordained me into ministry john said with what is happening now no if you were god you are too mighty to leave me in the prison go and ask him oh i'm no longer sure jesus had to tell the disciples when things started going bad he said who do men say that i am and he said who do you say you would think that that was an easy question nobody could answer don't assume you know god because your knowledge of god is what will strengthen you is what will make you stand and say i'm not going back that mountain i was climbing many believers in church think knowing god is singing christian songs they think knowing god is praying in tongues just because you are saying bah, 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 you are just praying say i know god or knowing god is an election i am elder this i am pastor this i am apostle this do you know god of course i do let me ask you that same question do you know god <laughs> you will be surprised that you are shocked now you may not honestly be able to answer that question do you know God do you know God the Bible says whoever must come must believe that he exists there's something called April fool you know what April fool is April fool is an attempt to play games with your mind is that true sometimes can be expensive so they can tell you something like pastor alpha an alert has just come for you whereas it's not true that's how many people think God is and situations and circumstances can push you to a point where you believe God has calmed you read the frustrations of David in the book of Psalms many times David would talk as though he was not born again many believers would say, have about David David no brothers and sisters if we are honest the pressures of life can change your perception in a way that even you you have to ask God for forgiveness are we together ask a woman who has been barren for 22 years no child ask a woman who has been serving in the house of god for 22 years no child ask her is there god and you see her cry and say don't ever ask me that question again she's serving god but she does not want to confront it because confronting it will bring anger where is that god for 22 years where was he when i was fasting where was he when i was praying don't be too quick to assume you know god i'm not saying have you received the way i'm not in doubt of that the encounter that gives men stamina unto death are we together when they caught jesus 
the disciples believed that Jesus will do all that he is known for again and Jesus gave himself freely they ran away why did they run away they didn't run away just because they ran away because they felt cheated you can know it because they ran back to their fishing what a stupid man you've wasted our time you proposed to us that we we're going to be mighty men my mother even liars sitting at my right and left and now look the nonsense you have made out of my life i go a fishing and the other disciples say we go with you and suddenly jesus appears little children have you any catch and they were looking who is that and when they discerned it was the master the bible says peter washed himself and ran and came and jesus looked at him simon bajona lovest me thou more than this lovest thou me more than this and he said well lord i do feed my lamb he began to talk with him and you would think after that one jesus said, okay guys thank you the bible says in acts chapter one for 40 days jesus remained with the people and was teaching them on the matters of the kingdom and afterwards he left and the holy ghost came brothers and sisters do you know miracles don't make you know god they can help your faith many people saw lazarus raised from the dead but it did not make them know god the presence of miracles are not enough the only entity that is capable of helping men know god is the holy ghost there is no amount of education and bible study that can help you know god no the knowledge of god is a reality that only the holy ghost is able to help men the lifter of men follow me carefully so the, the starting point of a believer's journey to a realm of greatness brothers and sisters hear me carefully is the journey of faith coming to a point where you are persuaded beyond beyond manipulation that god is alive you have come to a point where your results are too small to prove or declare otherwise the reality of god you have come to a point where even when you are drinking gary no sugar you don't just say god where are you you don't know him are we together there is an encounter i've taught you what an encounter is an encounter is a supernatural experience that makes the a reality real to you it furnishes the reality of a person or a thing to you i have touched this gentleman i have felt his arms i can't deny if you say oh you touched a bag of rice you are not going to tell me i touched a bag of rice because i've touched rice too i've touched a human being this is not rice this is a human being so no matter how you try to manipulate me there is a level of certainty everyone say the journey of faith <laughs> the bible declares in romans chapter 1 verse 17 galatians 3 11 hebrews 10 38 that the just shall live by faith not the just shall get by faith the just the template for the life of the just in this kingdom is faith everybody say faith your persuasion your persuasion about who god is not what he can do bible faith starts from a revelation of who god is it is only when you know who he is that you can believe what he can do many of us jump the encounter of who god is and we just go straight to what he can do must believe that he is and then when you are done believing that he is then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek it no seek power now that you know he exists when you seek him passionately there is a reward for it the just brothers and sisters shall live by faith are we together now and you see the system of faith is such that except there is a word there cannot be faith even if you encounter a person it only produces conviction 
there cannot be faith because faith is an action word an action only happens when a word has come either to instruct you or give you something to do john i mean matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 says man shall not live by bread alone this is jesus speaking responding to satan but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the god you have encountered man shall not live by bread alone but by every rima the revealed word that proceeds in this kingdom we live by the word of god we live by the speakings of god not just scripture not just verses not just chapters we don't live by verses we don't live by chapters we live by the speakings of the word the chapters and the verses are only containers they are not the word they carry the word the breath of the spirit opening those chapters and verses you see listen the message behind a chapter is the word of god not the story the message you may have been reading scripture but the message in the scripture is where the word of god is because that's where your instructions are hinged upon are we together now the journey of faith many people never become great in this life because their cultural experiences are greater than the revelation of who god is did you know that every time satan wants to destroy you wants to limit your mind he uses the information that is already in your mind he doesn't bring an information outside there is a reality in your mind so he calls you and he says i hope you are aware that you are from this state and you say i remember the information i've gathered about that state is that people don't prosper and satan says that's exactly what i'm saying and it is that raw material he begins to push you are you aware that you read hausa or you read french and are you aware that in nigeria if you study some of these things you may not have an opportunity for a good job you say yes i'm aware satan uses the content of your environmental conditioning as the platform to limit you from believing god listen brothers and sisters please hear me especially if you are in ministry or going or going into ministry spend as much time as you can having encounters with god you will drink from that fountain for life if that fountain dead dries before you get to the promised land you may not arrive there are things today that will never shake me because there is a solid encounter about who god is listen if you don't know who god is you will never stand well because all kinds of things will come to derail you you know how many pieces of papers people have passed to my life in the name of prophecy you know how many kinds of things you know how many dreams and visions people send to my phone apostle i saw something god is going to destroy you next week you don't know god you will die like a chicken because of the conviction of a man someone just gets up and looks at you and says god is going to destroy your family we found out that your grandfather was a wizard and they, and you now go back and believe is because you don't know who god is when you really know who god is you will learn in your knowledge of god that the lord is gracious and compassionate he is slow to anger and rich in love the knowledge of god is what strengthens your conviction about operating in the kingdom david knew god what a man david knew god God gave him an option. Should I give you over to your enemies or to you? David said, no, 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 no. God, at least me and you, with these men, they are wicked. But you are compassionate. What has your not knowing God cost you in life? Impatience. Not knowing God. And not knowing how he operates has destroyed a lot of people. They call light darkness and they call darkness light. He that cometh unto God must believe. The first thing the Lord began to do in my life, brothers and sisters, is not to give me anointing. It's not to give money. It is always the journey of faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. Lord, how will this destiny be built? By faith. Lord, I'm an orphan. 
my father is dead my mother is dead and god says you must learn how we operate in this kingdom it is by faith what does that mean by my word if i speak to you notice that my power follows my word so if i speak to you you must learn to trace the direction of my power by looking for where my word is anywhere my word is not stop looking for my power there if you find power there is divination my power follows my word if i say i will lift you then you stay at that area of the world that's where the anointing will meet you the anointing follows what god said the anointing has no business doing anything god has not said you can know where the anointing is by finding out what has god said if god said i will exalt you don't look for the anointing for any other thing the anointing for exaltation will remain until that word comes to pass then returns back to god as a messenger job done then he will say something again then the anointing will start looking for it the anointing does not just move at random the anointing backs up the word so the issue is not where is the anointing the issue is what has god said are you getting what i'm saying many believers let me tell you why we don't get miracles we roam around around areas and zones where god has not said anything and we keep crying for anointing to come and the holy ghost tells you this kingdom is a faith kingdom you don't just cry for anointing to come you cry for his word send your word oh god and the anointing follows that word you want to build a ministry what did god say nothing so you just carve out a ministry lord you must anoint this ministry the anointing said no way i don't work that way i walk i respect the word spoken notice satan does not fight anointing he fights the word because he knows that the word has the word like like when president buhari comes to zaria you don't need to bring el rufai el rufai will necessarily be part of that entourage that's how it works many believers don't pay attention to find out what god is saying we pay attention reading the bible we pay attention reading devotionals which is good but to be able to understand what god is saying look, notice that the secrets of the success of people they didn't walk by faith just by reading the bible at random they walk by faith by staying to hear we are going to fight oh god what is your what what is your word and god says i will give you victory they say guys let's rejoice victory would be guaranteed If you don't live by faith you will end where your parents ended it takes faith to transit you let me tell you waiting for somebody to give you a guarantee of job after school is foolishness it will never happen everybody you see that has risen to any point of greatness in the kingdom did so by faith the reason why many of us don't get results is that our faith is not in God our faith is in men auxiliary support systems my uncle is a senator in ibadan my uncle is a senator in uyo i my uncle is coming out for presidency next year and so when you say those things and pride in them and say no i can't fail and the bible says woe to any man who puts his strength in a man the greatest of any man can fail you so god begins to teach you son i want you to be great that's the promised land but this journey is going to be by faith and he said lord at the point of this journey i just have one gideon's international one bible no revelation no wisdom god says don't worry all i need you to do follow where my word is and you will get there follow my word follow my word follow my word so when you open the bible all you do is to just read oh i will bless you mm. When you read it, read it like the will of a man to you. Many people read the Bible like God speaking to the disciples. I have a personalized Bible. It was a gift that was sent to me years ago. Everywhere they wrote the name of anybody for good, they changed it to Joshua Selman. The whole Bible. I don't use it now, but it's a powerful revelation. So, thus saith the Lord too. You see it written there, Joshua Selman. Fear not, I have redeemed you. And he's speaking to me now i have called you by name 
fear not fear not that means the anointing for courage is somewhere because god has spoken to me are you seeing now you can know what anointing is there don't you see how the anointing moves in koinonia when the word comes the grace for it is what comes god healed blind Bartimaeus. he did not become a rich man his cry his demand was to be healed god spoke to him in the area of healing the anointing that came was for healing blind Bartimaeus never prospered just because god spoke healing no. it is the word that comes to you that controls the anointing that follows you god called benihin into the healing ministry there are many auxiliary graces but the strongest grace that operates is the grace that came with that word for as long as that word remains on him that grace remains on him are we together yes pastor if i come to your house and 